Mr. Richards, uh, Paul here. Just wanted to show you, uh, we when we ins tried to install the engine in the boat, of course we tipped it up pretty high and uh, we have a leaky seal back here on the transmission. So we're working on that. Uh, we're gonna have to pull this, pull this nut, pull this flange, and then we have to pull this flange as well. This is your, this is your uh, output flange, output shaft flange uh, that fastens to your prop shaft hub. Uh, and then this one is, this is, this flange uh, comes out and then there's a, uh, there's a seal right behind here that we'll have to replace. So uh, we're, we're finding, finding more stuff we have to do as we go along. Uh, and typically when an engine is rebuilt, transmissions are not rebuilt because they, they run an engine oil, they, they pretty much last forever. You have a clutch for forward, which is adjustable, and you have a brake band for reverse, which is also adjustable. So uh, that's about the only thing that we might have to do once we run the boat uh, you know, under load in the water. Uh, and then the uh, other thing we run into uh, is if you have a picture of the boat before the transom was replaced, I'm pretty sure that the wood on the transom was replaced. If you have a picture of that, that would be great because uh, we have no fuel tank vent right now and we want to be able to have a fuel tank vent. Uh, the other thing that we uh, have that happened to us is the prop shaft, uh, whoever did the bottom uh, replaced either all or part of your keel and had to draw, had to drill the, uh, the hole for the, uh, the prop shaft to go through, for the shaft log to go in. And they actually didn't drill that hole in quite the right spot. Um, so the, uh, we're having to uh, compensate for that. We enlarged the hole a bit and then uh, we put the shaft log in there were three in here to choose from uh, which was a, a little confusing but we found the right one and then um, uh, so now we're ready to install the engine we be able to line, line the engine up with the prop shaft that's all good so uh, but that was a bit of a challenge we had to go back in and fix the hole we thought about actually plugging the hole and re-drilling it but uh, this should be adequate, uh, and this will be fine. So, a couple questions. Uh, my, uh, oh yeah, uh, the the location of the of the vent. Sometimes the vents are on the side flanks, but the, the fuel tank vents. But uh, your fuel tank vent, uh, it, there isn't any on any side flanks. So I'm assuming it was in the transom, and then that makes me assume that the transom flanks were changed. And, uh, and then we want to get it back in the right spot. So I think that's it for questions and comments today.